are Nalini Sriharan and her husband Murugan, the convicts in the assassination of former Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi, have been released from jail. Just about an hour ago, these visuals flashed across television screens a day after six convicts in the Rajiv Gandhi assassination case were freed by the Supreme Court. After over 30 years in jail, three of the accused, Nalini Sriharan, her husband Murugan and Santan, have been released this Saturday evening after a brief visit to the Vellore jail to complete formalities. Nalini had this morning visited the local police station to mark her presence. All of this part of um, a parole conditions. Now, the Supreme Court had said that the convicts had showed, quote, satisfactory behavior. They'd acquired degrees, they'd written books, they'd participated in social service over the last three decades while they were in prison. They are, of course, convicted in the assassination of the former Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi. That was way back in 1991 on the night of the 21st of May 1991 at Sri Perambudur in Tamil Nadu by a woman suicide bomber while at a poll rally. Let's go across to Sam Daniel who is in Velour. He was at that jail as uh, Nalani walked out after 31 years. So, Nal um, so Sam, what happens now? Because you have these convicts, they have been uh, uh, set free uh, after 31 years in jail, but they're Sri Lankan citizens. What happens next? What's in store for them? What's the plan? Well, Sarah, among the six of these uh, convicts, four of them are Sri Lankan nationals, including Murugan, who's the husband of Nalini Sri Haran. And as we speak now, the police have are taking them to a special camp in Tiruchi uh, where they will be housed for the moment and then ultimately we understand from government sources that the government plans to deport them to Sri Lanka. Two of them had come here as refugees, still Sri Lankans, and two of them had illegally come here, that's what we understand. And now all these four have been released and they will be deported back to Sri Lanka. With regard to Nalani and the other person, they are Indians, they are said to move freely. We come to you from outside the house where Nalini Sri Haran has been staying over the last 10 months in Velo, and her brother is speaking to the media here. And uh, for her, it's a new life. She will be completely free from any kind of uh, security in terms of monitoring by the police. And uh, we understand from her family sources, her concern would be now to unite with her daughter who is uh, in the United Kingdom. Uh, earlier, she had come out on parole trying to get uh, fix her daughter's wedding. Although she had come out, uh, her daughter did not get visa and we understand from her lawyers that she is now married. So in her case, it would be like a kind of a, a new beginning for her in terms of uh, meeting her daughter and living with her parents here. Uh, but uh, this comes a day after the Supreme Court had ordered their release and it in a sense brings to a close, a 31-year-long, uh, in a sense, uh, jail life for them. But it was a long-drawn legal battle for them to 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 uh, get this freedom or release because in the year 2000, first Nalini was her sentence was commuted after Sonia Gandhi intervened, and in 2014, the Supreme Court uh, con commuted the sentence of all others, saying uh, the president had made an inordinate delay in taking a call. Four years later, in 2018, the Tamil Nadu government, led by Mr. EPS at that time, had adopted a cabinet resolution uh, ordering or recommending the release. And the then governor at that point in time did not accept that. Uh, there was a long delay and then he chose to send it to the president. And uh, earlier this year, uh, Pedari Valen, one of the seven convicts, was released and that paved way for the order we saw yesterday. Some are quite critical saying that the person who was assassinated is a former Prime Minister. They could not accept this, including the Congress. But it's an emotive issue in Tamil Nadu. Many saying that okay. they've spent enough punishment behind bars for more than 30 years. It's time All right. they're given a chance to reform and join the mainstream. Sarah.